Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. Uh, there is a message that I want to share with you guys and this message, it comes from a translation of a message that I received a couple of weeks ago. Then I had to ask one of our admins to work on the translation. The translation reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post for me as hidden identity? I have a confession to make my brother. I am a Zimbabwean man who is living in a foreign country. I am a man who is living a very comfortable life. I can say that I am a blesser. I have a thing for university students. I don't know why, but this is what I love. I am naturally attracted to university students. I have been with many women in my life. I don't know how many women I have been with in my life, but this is the type of women that I love. My story, my brother, started whilst I was still back home in the village in which I grew up back home in Zim. Before I had moved here to the country where I am staying right now, I have many children, some of them I do not even know, and most of these women that I sleep with, I don't know what happens to me because whenever I have intercourse with a woman, even though if she is on a family planning pill, I am the one who always makes sure that I have protected sexual intercourse because if we have unprotected sexual intercourse, then I will impregnate that woman. It doesn't matter if she has an implant or if she is using those family planning pills. It seems as if these rituals that were done to me by my late grandmother, those rituals are so powerful that even if you are on family planning, it does not even really matter. Growing up, I lost my parents when I was only eight years old. Then my grandmother was someone who was said to be a healer, but she was not a registered traditional healer. She was those ones that you can say were fly by nights. She used to do these things in secret. And many times growing up, my grandmother was always called at the local village court. Even though she was someone who knew how to do these herbs, she was not allowed to do so since she was not properly registered and she was not recognized by the village chief. But my grandmother, it seemed as if she had this persuasive tongue because whenever she would go to that village court, she used to take this very small tree branch, then she would break it up to pieces so that she can place the piece underneath her tongue. Even when I traveled here to the country where I am staying right now, my grandmother is the one who made me to be very successful in the industry in which I am right now. Because when I was traveling to this country, she gave me that small tree branch and she told me that along the way as I'll be traveling to the land where I'll be traveling to, I had to place one small piece underneath my tongue as I'll be traveling along the way and once i had reached the land in which i'll be looking for wealth then before i had started going around looking for work i had to go to a secluded place and i had to kneel down and speak with the ancestors of the land in which i would have found myself in and that is what i did and my brother let me tell you what happened when i arrived in this country in which i am I arrived in this other village that is just close to the border. Since I didn't know anyone, I had to sleep with the kettle. Then early in the morning, before anyone had woken up, this was somewhere around 4 a.m., I woke up, then I looked at the hills. I walked until I had reached this other hill. Then I knelt down and I spoke with the ancestors of those villages. After I had spoken with the ancestors of those villages, just like my grandmother had instructed me to do, then I saw a very tall man, and this tall man climbed down from top of the hill, and he walked to the place where I was. Then he blessed me, and he told me that he had given me the full wealth of the land that I had found myself in. 
That is how I eventually moved from that village until I had reached the capital of city of this foreign country in which I am living and I became very successful in the industry in which I am working right now. Anything that I touch, my brother, it instantly becomes like gold. This is what the CEO of the company that I am currently working with told me. He said, ever since I have known you, anything that you touch, it just becomes like gold. So my brother, when I was still back home, after I had lost my parents, I remember that my grandmother once took me into the bushes. Then we climbed up the mountain. When we had climbed up the mountain, then my grandmother asked me about what I wanted to become in life. Then I said that I wanted to be an engineer. Growing up as I was still learning English, I had came across this word called an engineer. So when my grandmother asked me what I wanted to be in life and I told her that I wanted to become an engineer, she laughed at me. Then she said, well, if you want to be that thing that you want, I am going to give you some blessings and in your life, everything that you are going to touch, it is going to be blessed. This is how my grandmother blessed me. She took out a can that was filled with water. Back in those days, there was this other cooking oil brand that was so popular in Zim that was called Olivin. So she took out a small can that was filled with water. Then she said that inside that can, she had mixed some water that she had gotten from one of her friends. Because back in those days, if you were to die in the villages, there would be no time for your body to be taken to the mortuary. They will just have to wash your corpse. Then they will have to bury you in a short period of time before your body would start to smell. So my grandmother was honest with me. She told me that I was not supposed to be afraid for she wanted to give me her blessings before she passed away. Then she said that the water that was inside that olive in can that she was holding, she was going to mix that water with a little bit of cooking oil. She said that the water which was inside that can of olive in, she had been given the water by one of her friends who had recently gone to this other funeral and her friend had been asked to help with the washing of the corpse. So after the corpse had been washed, they then secretly took that water and hid the water. And my grandmother had been given the water. And she said that some of the water that was inside that olive in can had came from the water that had been used to wash a corpse from a nearby village. She then took some cooking oil. She mixed the water that had been used to wash the corpse with the cooking oil. Then she started to wash me. She said that the reason why she had mixed the cooking oil and the water it was to make sure that in my life, I would never mix with people that won't be able to assist me in any kind of financial way. I was supposed to mix only with people that can assist me financially. And this is what happened when I came here in this land where I am living. Because the first woman that I dated, she was a woman who was married to a rich white man. When I started to date that woman, she was the one who assisted me financially. I came here in this foreign country without any knowledge. I was just someone who was looking for any kind of a work, but I later became an engineer. And everything in my life is just automatic. If I want to achieve anything, then the next person that I will meet in my life is the person who is going to help me to achieve that goal. After my grandmother had performed the ritual on me, we returned back to the village. We stayed like that, but we used to sleep in the same bed, me and my grandmother. Even the day when I left home coming to this foreign country in which I am now permanently residing, I was still sleeping with my grandmother. When I migrated from Zim, Coming to this foreign country, I was at the age of 23 years old. 
and I was sharing uh, and I was still sharing the same bed with my grandmother. But me and my grandmother, even though we used to share the same bed, but we were never involved in any kind of sexual activities. But my brother, this thing, it left a mark on my body because as we were sleeping some nights, I could feel that I am sleeping with a woman because I was now a fully grown man, but we never had any sex at all with my grandmother. When I arrived in this foreign country, after finding my success, that is when I started to date a lot of women. At first, I used to date women that were older than I was because at that time, I was looking for opportunities. And I don't know how these things used to happen because I would only attract wealthier women even though they were married, but I don't know how I used to attract these women, but I think it was because of the blessing that was placed upon my head by my grandmother when she said that like oil that doesn't mix with water, I'm I want you to give a ble I want to give you a blessing whereby you will only come across people that will help you financially. If the person that you come across cannot help you financially, then you will not be able to mix. This is the thing that has been happening to me ever since I have arrived in this foreign country. And now, my brother, the only problem that I am facing is that I cannot find a woman that I can settle down with. I don't know why. I cannot be satisfied with a woman, no matter how many women I have slept with, but I am still unsatisfied. I have tried to take control of my lust, but whenever I come across these young women, and if I just speak with these young women, then I just lose control. And on their part, whenever they look at my wealth, they will think that finally they've made it in life. But what they don't know is that me being a blesser, it is just part of the rituals that were performed on me by my grandmother. I don't know when these things are going to stop. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me. Then I had to send it to one of our admins. Yo, strange things do happen in this world.